In this video, we'll review the newton raphson method of root finding. I'd like to emphasize that this video mainly serves as a review. Like bisection, you'll need to develop your own code for the workshops, and we won't delve into any MATLAB here. Instead, we'll focus on the concepts. In the 06C video, we reviewed the bisection method. The newton raphson method, sometimes called Newton's method, is another root finding technique. The algorithm relies on a single starting point and the derivative of the function to find the root. One of the biggest drawbacks to this method is that it can diverge. As we'll see later on, the location of the starting point can determine the algorithm's success. Bisection was referred to as a closed method because it requires an initial interval which bracketed the root. On the other hand, newton raphson is known as an open method because you only need to provide the algorithm with a single starting point. In general, newton raphson tends to be faster than bisection, but you run the risk of divergence. That's the price you pay for a faster algorithm. This method also exhibits more interesting behaviors than bisection, which we'll briefly discuss. From a high-level perspective, the newton raphson method uses the starting guess and the first derivative to deduce the root. First, we need to input an initial guess x sub i and compute the derivative of f of x. Starting from the initial guess, we trace the derivative down to the x-axis. Then, we sample the function at that point to obtain our root estimate. We repeat this process until we capture the root within our specified stopping criterion or tolerance. This is much easier to understand visually. Let's say we want to find the root of this unknown function. Our initial guess is shown on the graph as x sub i. At x sub i, we draw the tangent to the curve and extend that tangent line until it hits the x-axis. This is where we assume the root is. Let's call this point x sub i plus 1. We need to check if it's within our tolerance, so we evaluate the absolute value of the function at this new point. For generality, I didn't put any numbers on the graph, but we can assume that f of x sub i plus 1 does not meet the stopping criterion, so we must repeat this process. Okay, we just found x sub i plus 1, but we need to iterate again. We need to ride the tangent all the way down to the x-axis until we hit our next root estimate, x sub i plus 2. We see that this new point is much closer to the actual root. Let's assume that this time we meet our stopping criterion, so we can say that we found the root. We've looked at newton raphson visually, but now let's look at it mathematically. This is the definition of a slope, so it should look pretty familiar. Because we follow the tangent line all the way down to the x-axis, f of x sub i plus 1 equals 0. If we want to solve for x sub i plus 1, all we have to do is rearrange this equation. When we do so, we get the newton raphson formula. This is the equation you'll want to program into MATLAB. Here's an example that shows how newton raphson can diverge. The best way to explain this is by showing a few iterations, so let's start with our initial guess x sub i. We ride the tangent to the x-axis and guess that our new root x sub i plus 1 is here. Based on f of x sub i plus 1, this obviously isn't the true root, so we construct the next tangent to this point and ride that all the way down. But we're clearly heading away from the real root, and we will probably continue to do so with every iteration. If we had chosen x sub i to be somewhere in the vicinity of x sub r, we probably would have converged. Of course, you won't know what value to choose for x sub i in your problems, otherwise that would sort of defeat the entire purpose of root finding. Selecting a starting guess requires some trial and error. Sometimes you'll be successful, and sometimes you won't. And that's why I really recommend plotting the function first, so you can ascertain a general location for your x sub i. Unlike bisection, you aren't guaranteed to converge to a root. This is one of the pitfalls of newton raphson Here's another pitfall. From the newton raphson equation, you have a fraction. Obviously, this is going to fail if the derivative equals zero, so you need to make sure this never happens in any iteration. Alright, so you now have two root-finding methods under your belt, bisection and newton raphson Here are some pros and cons which may help you pick a method. I would pick bisection if you prioritize convergence over the rate of convergence. Given a valid initial interval, bisection will always converge, but it might be slow. 
Bisection is also good if you don't exactly know how the derivative will behave, because you don't need to worry about a division by zero error in bisection. On the other hand, I would pick newton raphson if I wanted to quickly find the root since it's generally faster than bisection. If I knew ahead of time that the derivative is relatively easy to compute, I would also use this method, especially if I know I won't get a division by zero error. Personally, I prefer newton raphson because of its speed, although you may have a different opinion. Regardless of the method, you should get the same answer. Lastly, some food for thought. newton raphson is an extremely interesting program that has many conceptual intrigues. First, let's discuss a possible division by zero error. We know this will cause the algorithm to malfunction computationally, but what happens visually? What happens to the plot when you divide by zero? Next, we said that newton raphson is generally faster than bisection, but there are plenty of exceptions. Can you think of a function which causes bisection to converge faster than newton raphson And let's end on perhaps the most interesting point. Can you think of a function f of x which will cause newton raphson to cycle endlessly around a single point? Alright, that's it for this video. We're almost done with the root finding unit, so hang in there. See you soon.